Welcome to quarter 4 week 5, grade 4 mathematics. Collects data on two variables using any source and organizes data in tabular form and presents them in a single or double horizontal or vertical bar graph. There are times that we need to collect information about the things related to our daily life. For example, you want to know what day of the week that most of the students go to the library to read. Knowing the information is collecting data. There are two variables in collecting data and they are the following. One is categorical data. Categorical data are data whose values describe some characteristics or categories such as favorite colors or favorite pets. The second one is numerical data. Numerical data are data that takes on numerical values such as number of pupils or scores. For example, Joey listed his scores in his quiz in eight subjects as shown in the box below. He got scores of 20, 10, 15, 10, 25, 15, 10, and 25. Make a table with the following headings, scores, tally, and frequency. Under scores, you write 10, 15, 20, and 25. Then count how many tens are there. 1, 2, 3. Under tally, you write 3. And under frequency, you write 3. Then count 15. 1, 2. You tally it as 2, and the frequency is 2. Then count 20. So there's only 1. So the frequency is 1. Then count 25. 1, 2. You tally it as 2, and the frequency is 2. There is another easy way in presenting a data to be able to understand easily the information gathered and this is by using the bar graph. Bar graph is used to show comparison of data. A bar graph may either be vertical or horizontal. It may also be single or double bar graph. Below are the examples of different bar graphs. First, we have single vertical bar graph. Why is it a single vertical bar graph? As you can see, there is only one bar in each numerical data. That is why it is called single vertical bar graph. Next, we have double vertical bar graph. The title of the bar graph is Favorite Colors of Grade 4 Pupils. There are four colors, red, blue, green, and pink. The bar at the left represents the data for boys, while the bar at the right represents the data for girls. Then we have single horizontal bar graph. 
The title of the bar graph is Favorite Subjects of Grade 4 Pupils. Here are the subjects. And here are the data represented in horizontal bar. That is why it is called a single horizontal bar graph. Next, we have double horizontal bar graph. The title of the graph is Scores on Pre-Test and Post-Test of Four Pupils. So here are the four pupils. And the bar at the top represents the scores of each pupil in post-test. And the bar at the bottom represents the scores of each pupil in pre-test. Remember, categorical data are the type of data in which may be divided into groups such as favorite pets, favorite drinks, etc. Numerical data is the type of data that expresses numbers rather than natural language description such as number of colors, number of scores, etc. Tally chart or frequency table is used to organize and display data in a very comprehensive way. Bar graph is used to show comparison of data. A bar graph may either be horizontal or vertical. 